What's going on people? Welcome back to the Ogano Art Family and today we're going to be talking about math and art being two sides of the same coin. So when I speak about math and art, um, well, in terms of math, I'm going to be putting you know, computer science within the same category as math and in terms of art, I'm going to be, pu I'm going to be putting uh, music, drawing, painting within the same categories of you know art and so we'll take for example um, a technical learning gap for example um, computer science in terms of you know programming so you know from the start when you're first starting out you have to memorize these basic uh, rules these structures like basically memorizing things you know and and learning the logic of how you know the language of you know Java or you know C++ works you know and or Python you know and you know likewise if a person were to you know memorize and practice you know formulas and mathematics however in mathematics it's like a mathematics is like a set rule you know set law set laws of the universe to follow you know and like and since these are set laws there's no you can't really be creative with it it's just you know these are just set laws of how things work with mathematics you know however with computer science it does start off with a, a logical gap that you need to get into but as you go on and as you you know get to the next level of computer science there comes a time where once you learn that language you gotta um you, you wanna to get yeah to get to the next level you got uh, for you gotta like uh you know start solving problems and whatnot you know when you come across a complex issue you have to you know kind of think creatively on how to go about programming to fix an error or to you know to write that program and make it easier you know or how to make a you know a simple a simple a complex program into something much more simpler you know and so like in terms of programming creativity plays a, a huge role in getting to that next level of mastery and now we're gonna step into in terms of art you know so I feel within the art it's reverse instead of learning through logic and then creativity like the computer science there's more of a reverse stage of starting out as a creative thinker and then going into establishing the logic so I would say that art is more of a personal emotional individual evolutionary response when you're first starting out so you know when you're first learning you you're learning you know you become like a you know you want to become like you know a free thinker you know it's it's more so of a self expression or you know focusing more on like the intuition just you know the emotional side when you're first starting out with the art and you know and when and when it comes to anything and that goes to to anything that's you know artsy whether it's you know writing or you know drawing it's it's like a emotional start out or an individual start out and there isn't as much of a technical learning gap like programming in the beginning because I feel that should come later so an artist may have the creativity aspect down but in order to ac accomplish that next level of mastery I feel the next level starts with logical thinking and fusing it as well with you know the intuitive mind or so you know so you know to give some examples of some technical aspects when it comes to art you may want to you know memorize you know the rules of grammar and punctuation or so you know learn some you know storytelling or cinematic techniques you know maybe when it comes to drawing you may want to study how you know the bones and the muscles work you know the placements and whatnot what they do how they intertwine together 
you know, the, the balance between each individual muscle. And, you know, and, uh, you know if you're like a, a painter, that the another technical aspect may be, you know, color theory, you know. So, I don't exactly feel that computer science is, you know, all that logical and art being all that, you know, intuitive. I feel that they both have their, you know, logic and intuitive side. And to get to that next level, you want to accomplish that fusion between the two. I feel that um, also the, uh, just the concept of, you know, art just being strictly, you know, intuitive and creative and, you know, com com computer science just being, you know, just logic based. That's a, I feel that that's a very outdated concept. And so, you know, we should, you know, move on from those old times. But, you know, that's just my own personal opinion. And so, I find that most schools tend to prioritize mathematics from day one, you know. And that's understandable as we're living in, you know, we're evolving in, te in a technological age and whatnot. And, you know, they value, you know, mathematics and the sciences more. However, I feel if, you know... We also took, you know, creativity, you know, into, to become, you know, prioritized from day one, like from elementary school, we'd probably have like a bigger boom in the population of experienced artists. So by, you know, you know, prioritize, prioritizing the arts, I would say, you know, you know, if a person likes, likes music, they should know, you know, you know the technical stuff about music i'm not i'm not sure i'm not a music person so i'm not sure what they learn about music but you know i'm sure that would be very beneficial for that you know that child in elementary school you know and he, and he would probably have a he or she would probably have a big boom as they go on you know we would probably have a a big boom in you know child prodigies you know in terms of you know the creative aspects of things if they would, you know, focus, have, you know, focus on in these things from day one, you know, so, you know, day one elementary school, you know, learning about some anatomy and whatnot, not, not too complicated, making it fun, you know, and I feel if the schools were to go that route of prioritizing some arts within the school, within the, um, the child's specific interest, uh, you know, Basic mathematical skills should be taught, you know. However, th there should have be more of a learning within the arts, you know. And if they were to go that route, I wouldn't necessarily think that they would be deficient within the math area, because you know it will, it, it takes you you have from you from from um from elementary to middle school to high school, you have basically 12 years of learning the, you know, the mathematics, you know, and compared to a person who is going to college and is taking remedial classes, you know, I, I, I know some people that, you know, that didn't have an understanding of basic, basic mathematics when I was going to my um, old, older college. They didn't have an understanding of basic mathematics from when they, you know, went to college and now after you know going through that experience yeah first of all they had to take remedial classes and after going through that experience of evolving within their math skills you know you, you, they're they're now teaching you know these advanced you know mathematics like calculus and or like calculus 2 calculus 3 and whatnot they're they're now teaching this stuff and previously they didn't have an understanding of you know the basic mathematics you know and that only took around you know i would say you know four years or so compared to that 12 years that you spend you know so yeah but yeah that, that'll be my little rant for today or you know just just a just a, a talk you know also share your comments you know tell me what you think about this you know support support the channel and whatnot and also you know leave 
comments about you know what you what else you would like me to talk about well what do you feel you want me to talk about or whatnot you know just to add some ideas to the list of ideas I already have so yeah that'll be it for now and later guys